everyone. Happy Friday. I hope that you had a wonderful week. I have got so many good things to show you. I have been excited all morning about every little thing. So, but I've, what I do is I, when I think of something I need to show you, I stick it out here on my table. And so now I've got kind of a mess, but I'm going to start off with these and they're nothing, no big thrill, but I love these. And I really think you would too. I order them from Amazon. This is actually the first time I've ever ordered these big ones. These are four by four, but they're the gauzy silken wipes. And um, so this is like the little ones, like the typical little uh, two by two squares. This is what I use with like my Bioderma or anything to take off my makeup or I use it for my toner and a lot of times, oh, and I use it also for taking off my nail polish. If I use, yeah, I have the kind that you swirl your finger in, but if I use the other kind, I use this too. And they're just awesome, especially for those of you that don't really, I know a lot of people don't like cotton and I don't like the way cotton gets in your lashes. And I don't like the way when I put the cotton squares in my drawer, they start breaking up. And um, I just love these. I have ordered these over and over again, so I want you to try them and see if you like them too. Okay, and then another thing that I used today, and I bought these yesterday, I went in, oh goodness, Bubba's at the door, hold on, babe. I wanted to show you these. I went in Walgreens yesterday, and these were buy one, get one half, and these are Brooke's favorite lashes, and I used them today, and I was thinking, these are so much like the really high dollar lashes, like the House of Lashes Iconic. I end up cutting two little clumps off of the end to fit my eyes, but they are the Kiss Lashes in Jubilee. And like I said, right now they're buy one, get one half. So that is a really good deal. And they just, they're really, I guess you can tell on my lashes, they're really dense and they really give that look like all of the higher end, you know, more expensive lashes do. I think if you are a lash girl, you should try these. We both really like these. There's such a big difference. The other day I wore something that was like so pitiful. When I watched my video back, I was like, there was no point in those lashes. But it just depends on what you like. A lot of times I like just, you know, more is more for me. Okay. Um, Ulta, I bought these. I was thinking they were going to be buy one, get one half, but after I already got them in my bag, they told me that the skincare isn't included. But these are the 24 karat Magic Hydro Gel Eye Mask. 24 karat gold and hyaluronic acid for brighter, fresher looking eyes. 15 pairs. And the little spatula is included, but they're the Ulta Eye Mask. And um, Brooke said that she had heard good things about these. And she said a lot of people, I always ask her, you know, what are people buying? What's the most popular thing? people are getting and this was one of them and so I used these last night and I liked them they have like that jelly type they come with this so you can get them out and then they're like in here like that and I put them on when I got out of the shower and didn't take them off until I gosh I left them on probably for at least 30 minutes, if not longer, until I went back in my room, I was watching the news or something, and went back in the bathroom to start my skincare and everything, and loved them. And I really think it made a difference. I feel like this morning, my under eyes aren't as crepey looking. I've really been neglecting my under eyes. And so I wanted something like this, and I've even seen people use these when they're getting ready, and then using them like to get the fallout. And then, after they do their eyes, they just take the eye mask off and go in with their makeup. I wore one of these the other day, and I don't know if you guys liked it or not, but it was one of these new Stila Suede Shade Liquid Eyeshadows. And I will be honest, every single, Brooke and I swatched every color, and every color is so pretty. I know there's a beautiful green one, I will say the blue one, I thought I was gonna get the blue, but it's so bright. It's just so bright, I just knew I wasn't ever gonna wear it. So I ended up getting this one that I've got on my lids today, which is like a gray. And I knew with my eyes, any type of gray is gonna give me kind of like that blue look anyway. So uh, the gray one I have is Smoky Silk, and they're just real easy. You know, you just 
All I did was put a dab on each eyelid and then I blended it out with my finger. Now when I did this one the other day, I did this one all over. And so you could probably see it a little bit more. The gray I pretty much kept on my lid and um, I'll blend these out for you so you can see they're not difficult to use. See how they almost blend out to nothing, you know what I mean? They're easy to just take your finger and shear out. And I guess you guys have noticed that I cut my fingernails and I always forget how much I love it when I have shorter nails. It's like I can do my makeup better, I can text better, I can answer more comments because it's, you know, just easier. And so, I don't know, it's kind of like bangs. You know, I cut them, then I let them grow, I cut them, let them grow, but I have enjoyed them being shorter. And yesterday I went in Sally's and they had all China Glaze nail polishes for like $3, $3.50 or something. So I bought a new China Glaze. That is one of my, a new um, China Glaze Rose Among Thorns. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself as usual, but that's what my nail polish is. So back to the Stila shadows. I think if you see a color, gosh, that green is really pretty. It's really unique. I might get it just for fun. And then there's a chocolate brown that I might get too. I wanted to start off with just two and see if I liked them and I love them. And then another, this is probably one of the most exciting things of the video. I don't know. I've got new jeans on. They're exciting too. But I was in Belk, gosh, either the beginning of this week or last week. The guy at the Mac counter told me that they were having new lipsticks come in, which, you know, a new lipstick formula and everything. So I was lucky enough to be able to look at them and then he held a few for me until yesterday when they came out. And then I ended up adding, I think two more and the lip conditioner to go with it. So I thought I would swatch these for you. I thought about doing them like a try on. I really think maybe a swatch is just as good because by the time I were to try all of these on, I don't know if you, I think one color would mess up the other one. So the formula is Love Me Lipstick. And I think the deal is, it is, here, let me look up and see what's supposed to be different about them. A new argan oil infused formula with a weightless feel and satin soft finish. Okay, that's what, and then she said that this um, lip base was great to wear with them. And I used to use this a long time ago when I was just like a full on Mac girl. So I got another one because I do think that when you have liney lips like I do, that you will love like these lip bases. I'll show you what it's like. It's almost like a waxy texture. Let me do it over here. But it gives you just, um, it fills them in and it's supposed to make it last longer and all that stuff. I'll have to report back to you after I use this a while. I bought, it looks like, um, I think I got something. I know she gave me this leftover from lipstick day, which I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be. I know it opens up. I don't know if it's something to put like lip liners or something in maybe, I don't know. Okay, so let's start off with the lightest, which would be 402 French Silk. And I think I would remember thinking this was gonna be my favorite. And so they're in a pretty little package like that. And this is the color. And they're very like glossy. So far to me, they remind me of the cream sheens, but lighter. They're not quite as thick feeling. So that is French Silk, Daddy's Girl. I debated and debated whether or not to get this, even though I love the name. And um, it's a light pink, and I thought, this is kind of boring. But I, when I thought about it, it's like a color like Cream Cup or something that goes with so many different looks and so many different liners. So this is Daddy's Girl. I'll put it right beside it. Oh gosh, they are so pretty. That is really pretty. So that's gonna be more of your blue pink, kind of like cream cup or angel, any of those colors. Okay, and then let me see what the next. Okay, here's the lipstick she gave me. It was uh, CB96. It was for leftover from lip, from um, yeah, lipstick day. Lipstick appreciate, National Lipstick Day. Okay, now let's go in with Trey, Trace Blase, Trey Blase. I think this is more of like a nudie 
neutral type color. Oh, I think that might be a really good one. The colors were really pretty. I mean, there was some beautiful reds. If I had not just gotten so many beautiful reds and other things. Okay, hey Frenchie. This one looks like it might be a little bit darker. So that's hey Frenchie. I'll put it right here. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, that is beautiful. That's like a rosy color. Now, um, you're so vain. This is probably the brightest one, but it is so pretty. It's one of those brighter colors that I don't think will be in your face. I think it's just gonna be like a flower. So that's you're so vain. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, and I mean that is saturated color. You will not need a lip liner if you don't want one. I always love lip liners, but that will be, you'll be able to really get full color with that. The last one I got is under the covers. And this looks like another pinky color. We'll put it right beside that last one. So, it's more of like a mid-tone too. So all beautiful colors that I think we will love. I love MAC lipsticks. I just don't think you could go wrong. Let me take a picture of these so I can put it at the end. Then one more thing that I got, and I don't think I have this lip liner. I have it on today, and it is MAC Hover. And I'm not sure how it's described. I will swatch it for you. It's kind of like a brownie type color. It's gonna be like a good lip contour. So today, I've, I did what I've been doing, I think. I'll put a, a picture in here. Yesterday, I did this gloss that I'm wearing with Sore, MAC Sore Lip Liner, and then I wore this gloss in my microblading video, and I'll link it up here so you can see how this gloss goes with so many different lip liners. So this is what I have on today, and then I got this lip gloss. I saw it at Bobbi Brown and I was like, oh gosh, I just knew this was going to go so good with so many different lip liners. You put on your lip liner and just put this with it and you will think that they're not going to go, but there is just something about this color and this, it having a little bit of shimmer that looks good with any lip liner. I swear, I think you could put it on with fuchsia, red, anything, and it's going to make just a beautiful color and give you so much dimension. Now, Bobbi Brown lip glosses are, I wouldn't say they're the stickiest ever, but they're up there in the sticky factor, but that makes them last almost all day. Like, I never have to reapply unless I've eaten or something like that, but even drinking and everything, it, they stay on. So that's what you, if you don't want a sticky lip gloss, then it's not gonna last as long, unless it's like a liquid lip or something. But anyway, this, oh, I forgot to tell you the color. It is Bobbi Brown, and it is the High Shimmer Lip Gloss in Citrus. Love it. I think you should get it and try it with all of your lip liners. One more thing that I grabbed from MAC, and um, let's see, I think I have a picture without my sunglasses yesterday. I can show you this, but I picked up this eyeshadow. The girl that was working at the Bobbi Brown counter had this on, and her makeup always looks really good. It's She really has that look like I like, like 90s supermodel, where she'll wear, that was Chanel, she'll wear a little bit of color on her lids and then like a fuchsia lip. And I asked her what she was wearing and it was this. And it is the MAC Shadow in Rich Core. It's the Extra Dimension Eyeshadow and it is beautiful. This is so old me. Like before YouTube, I always wore purple eyeshadows and it was this tone. And this is so pretty, just right on the lid. See how it's like that grayed? I was trying to think of what it reminded me of. It reminds me of when we all wore the uh, Chanel taupe gris or whatever shadow, it's like a taupey purple. And it is just so pretty. And one day I'm gonna have the nerve to do my makeup like I used to, because I used to put this in the crease and just, you know, love it. A lot of times I would use pink and purple. But isn't that pretty? And it gives you that, you know how some people will have their makeup on and it's it's kind of like that Pixie Woo, Sam Chapman look, that worn in, 
look and that's what it gives you. And so I, all I did was use like a shader brush and put it right across my lid and then blend it out a little bit and it wore so good. So this is a fun color to get to. I thought we would go ahead and do my outfit of the day because I wanted to show you these jeans. This cami is one that one of my subscribers, Amber Lynn, sent me. I love it. And it's just, I could wear it out like this and it would still look good. I just wanted to give it a little tuck so you can see these jeans. These are, oh, I always send Kelly pictures of jeans that I see on like Like to Know It or Pinterest or Instagram. And I ask her if she has them and she'll say, yeah, but they're the kind that don't have any stretch. You know, they're the kind that are stiff because she knows that I only like comfy jeans. And she said, I really think you need to try the Legeance, Legeance, yeah, Legeance. It's this color right here, or this name right here. And let me let Bubba out. He's starting to beat up on people. Hold on. These are the real popular. They're the High Line High Rise Skinny. And I got the size 29, which is my typical like size eight size. And you guys, these jeans are like pajamas. If you like jeans that have a little bit of stretch and they're really soft and they're not real thick and hard, these are your jeans. And I know they're just a little bit more than other designer jeans, but I have a discount, you know, my 15% off code that you can use and I think we're gonna love them. And I'll go ahead and turn around. They don't feel like they're smashing in my butt or anything. And I would say they run true to size. And oh, I just love them. Now these, you know, are this funky style, but I love this with boots, like ankle boots and heels. And I just love them. I was excited to show these to you because I know you guys like good comfy jeans like i could wear these to take a nap in they're just that comfortable and the other pair i got are these oriana high rise straight and i got the size 29 and these are beautiful jeans these are the kind that i'm going to be able to wear so much they have a similar fit to all the ones that i like like the emerson they're just gorgeous and they're going to be perfect for winter time and fall of course i would wear them now and then, oh, looks like this one's come untied, but I went back and exchanged the black dress, wrap dress that I showed you the other day. Um, they did not have the printed one in the small, and I really felt like it was too big, like through here. I don't need anything else making my hips look any bigger, so I got the black one in the small. This is such a good dress, and they are on sale. It's an Ellen Tracy faux wrap dress, and... So I wanted to show you this one again. And these are some of the dresses I was waiting to show you. I did not know what to wear today, but I wanted to wear my jeans. This is a little dress that I got at the loft. And I love this style of dress. Like a, I think it's like a sheath dress and it was on sale. And I get a size six at the loft because they're just a generous sizing. And it was $79.50, but it's on sale. I don't know, I think it might be 30% off. It fits, really fitted. It's kind of like that Mad Men type look. And I love the tweed. And I think it's going to look good with tights. It'll be a good dress to wear, like with a moto jacket and tights and boots. Or you can wear it right now with sandals. It's just a good, one of those good dresses to have. Okay, this may be one of the best things that I have shown you guys in a long time. And it looks boring. It's just a long black, like sheer vest. This will make so many things look so good. You could put it on with a tube top, you could put it on with a tank top, but what I really like stuff like this with is dresses, like bodycon type dresses that are too tight, and you know, you might have a few too many rumples back here, or you know, and this just looks so good over it because it still gives you your silhouette, but yet it covers you, you know, where you need it, and then this also looks good with leggings and boots and just a cami. It's just one of those things that will come in so handy. Let me back up and show you how long it is. Like this with leggings and a cool t-shirt and then high boots, perfect outfit. This with a black, really skimpy, straight across dress with straps and you know, like nude heels 
just so many things. It's gonna be one of those things in your closet that will help you wear other things. And then the last thing I wanted to share, share with you is, I'm sure you've been wondering what in the heck I've done to my hair, but I was watching a, like a Instagram, like video, like an Instagram, not a story, but it was like a tutorial. And I don't know what I did. I flicked up or down and it was like a lot of them that I have, you know, people I wasn't subscribed to, different things I could see, I guess, you know, suggestions. And there was a girl on there. She is, I can't remember her name right now, but it's something, something 50s. She's in her 50s and she was doing her makeup and her hair and she used a waiver. And the one she used is a huge, like, I think it's a bedhead one. And I searched the town over yesterday for that waiver and I couldn't find it, but I ended up running in Sally's. And I'm so glad I did because I found this one that is, I think, I think it's probably better. It's the kind that I always, yeah, Hot Shot Tools. And I like that it has like this coating, just like the curling irons that I love do. And this is the deep waver. So you can see it's gonna not give you just a crimp, it's gonna give you like a deep wave. And so that is what I have done with my hair. Now I did mine last night and I was slightly afraid that I wouldn't like it. So I barely, like I would take it and like barely, I wouldn't do the whole crimp. And so when I woke up this morning, it was just barely crimped. So I went over the sides a little bit this morning just so you could get the semi full effect. And it has the heat adjustment, it has off and on switch and it has the heat adjustment. And I keep mine at 330. So, and I used heat protectant. So don't think that this isn't gonna burn your hair. Just still be careful with it. But I just, when she did her hair like that, it just looked like a fun, different thing to do. I'm always looking for different things and it looks so easy and it was. So if you think you might like this, I'll put the link down below. I don't even know if the one she was using is still available, but what I like about this is that this one is just so deep. So it's gonna give a bigger wave. And I was asking Sam at Ulta, what she liked, what her favorite dry shampoo was. I said, I don't want one. It seems like all the good ones leave like a white cast in my hair. And especially like now with my roots showing, I didn't want white. And she said, well, I like the um, it's dry bar triple sec, three in one. It texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. She said, it's kind of like, you know, a mix of dry shampoo and texturizing. And she said that she likes to use it on her roots, like on second or third day hair. And oh my goodness, this stuff is so much better than the, what is the other one I used to love so much? It's better than the AG. It's better than the, um, it's not Pureology, but the other one that I used to love so much but not philosophy. I'll put the one I'm thinking of here. And this one smells so good, but watch, I wanted to do it with you. How much body it gives. I'm almost scared to do, get too much more body. You will get like major. I don't want to do too much, but if you want some body and it just gives your hair that clean feeling, it doesn't make it sticky or anything or crunchy feeling. I just think if you're looking for something like that, you might love this. I think that's about it. I'm trying to, I've got so much to show you in like 30 minutes. I, I hate to like do so much, but I wanted to show you everything that I got. And, um, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, please do. I'm doing a giveaway over there with Miranda Fry. She was nice enough to ask if I wanted to do a giveaway. It's for a $100 gift certificate. And all you have to do is follow me, follow Miranda Fry, like both of our pictures or my picture on both sites and then tag a friend. And then she is going to pick a winner on Monday. So it's not like it's gonna go on forever. So go over there and do that and um, I thought about it with my jewelry. I've got on my Miranda Fry rings, and um, I've got on the, here, let me scroll you there. These are the Miranda Fry. I love these little earrings. They are the Chevron. And then this is the Miranda Fry. I cannot remember the name of this, but I'll put it down below. And I love this. This may be one of my favorite pieces because it's so versatile, like even, when you don't feel like doing all the layering, you can throw this on it. It gives you just a little bit of a different look and it doesn't get tangled in your other necklaces. I mean, I know there's those things where you can 
you know, put all your necklaces so they don't get tangled. But if you're like me, you like different things every day. And this is something that you can put on and it shows with a high neck. It's just one of my favorite pieces. And then this is a necklace that I just got at Oliver. And I hope that you guys can see it, but it's a teeny tiny little rosebud. Let me see. Wish I had something. Okay, it's a teeny tiny little rosebud and then it has little diamonds right here and right here Isn't that beautiful and it is adjustable so you can wear it shorter and this is real like it's real gold and real diamonds and it's nice to have something on that I don't have to take off when I get in the shower or every night so I just love that I thought it was different and I love that it had these and I've already told you guys about my nail polish so I guess that's it I know that there's so many good things that I showed you. So I hope you get something this weekend that makes you happy and makes you feel good. And I will see you guys again probably this weekend. If not, I'll see you Monday. See you then. Bye-bye.